You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some Brian Falls. What's going on, NASCAR Diecast Collectors? Diecast Reviews on YouTube. This is Original Big Bright here, and welcome back to another NASCAR Authentics Diecast Reviewing uh, episode on my channel. And today we're going to be doing another car from Wave 7, as I plan to finish most of Wave 7 uh, by the time uh, this season ends, or by the time Wave 8 um, is about to roll into stores, which will be um, the, here shortly, if I'm not mistaken, in this month of November. But today we're going to be doing a Diecast Reveal on one year championship contenders uh, heading into Homestead. He locked himself himself into uh, the Homestead round very recently and is none other than uh, one of your guys that's going to be in the championship for this year, Kyle Busch and his number 18 m and so he had a Camry uh, for Joe Gibbs Racing. This is a really cool car that I got from um, you know Wave 7 for the NASCAR Authentics line at my local Walmart, so pretty cool right there. We've got the nice and bright m and paint scheme. Glad to see that this is making a return. Of course, you know, it's got to make a return for Kyle Busch and for, any for uh, Rowdy Busch fans as well, but it's very nice right there as we got the the, the rest of the packaging and there's the back and there's the rest of wave seven which looks like it is uh starting to diminish as i am closely to be done reviewing this like i just previously said that's gonna be quite an accomplishment as i do say so myself but enough of me uh you know talking about my accomplishments we're gonna go ahead and unbox this bad boy we're gonna take a closer look at the kyle bush 2017 m m Toyota camry all right, everybody, we got this beautiful looking car off its box, as I always like to say that, but hopefully none of you guys are going to get too rowdy with this review, as, um, yeah, there goes those puns again, but uh, what a sweet looking car. Oh my god. Anyways, before I start this review, guys, we're going to go ahead and look at the magnet, like always, and it is a pretty cool magnet. You got the M&M's paint scheme, and um, you got only got one M, so I guess you could say it's an M paint scheme. Uh, haha. But we also got number 18 and Kyle Busch and the Mars branding on the bottom, because, you know, Mars uh, is the owner, and they supply M&M's and Snickers and all the other good candy um, that uh, Kyle Busch likes to review. Um, you know, he's a, you know, he may sponsor a lot of the candies in NASCAR, but he's definitely not a sweet driver, um, you know, but just by driving wise, but I'm sure if any Bush fans out there, you know, you guys are going to like this car and uh, pretty cool looking car guys. I mean, it's cool. We got the m and paint scheme returning again this year as look at that Toyota logo. Oh man, uh, I spoke too soon. That Toyota logo is pretty off centered. Well, that's a compromise you get when you got line out quality, but still pretty cool that, you know, we were able to get this paint scheme to make a return in the NASCAR Authentics um, collection. I know we did previously have this car from last year in Wave 6, which, you know, not too many people were, you know, surprised about that. But I'm glad to, to actually finally say that, you know, um, you know, uh, um, you know, Kyle Busch, you know, <laughs> I, I, I know he likes to drive the M&M's paint team a lot. But throughout the years, guys, I mean, especially in 2015 when they first started, he hasn't really been driving the M&M's paint scheme that much, guys. Um, I'm glad he was able to drive this car this year, like starting early this year. But then once summertime hits and he won that Pocono race, he's been driving the uh, M&M's caramel paint scheme a lot. And that's been mostly his most recognizable car for this year, which, you know, kind of sucks because I do like the days, you know, when we had, you know, this diecast going out and dominating. But, um, you know, still pretty cool regardless, though. I mean, we still get his Halloween Eminem's car that he just uh, that ran in Martinsville. Or what was uh, yeah, And, you know, a lot of people have mixed feelings about that. But he did lock himself into the playoff round, and he's going to compete for um, his second title for this year. Which, you know, a lot of people weren't, you know, happy. But, you know, Kyle Busch fans are looking forward to that moment. Hopefully we won't get too lucky in 2015 as my, as myself. is isn't really a big Kyle Busch fan. But I'm not going to be too biased on this review, guys. Because this car is still pretty cool as I give you guys another 360 view. Because um, they did change the paint scheme for this year, guys. Um, and like I said about, you know, how they, they don't run the m and paint scheme that lot. Um, you know, they did the same thing last year. I mean, last year, they, he, the m and paint scheme barely ran. I mean, he mostly drove that retro m and paint scheme to celebrate the 75th anniversary. And the, the, the regular m and paint scheme just kind of faded out. Um, and then 2015, I mean, heck, he drove the crispy m and car, which, you know, that car is famous of him, you know, missing 11 races and still winning the championship. But the green was definitely a lot more different. But I'm glad, you know, Eminem's, I guess you could say, went back to the roots and finally, you know, gave us a really cool Eminem's diecast that was on the track. And um, who knows? I mean, uh, I don't know if he's going to be driving this car at the finale race. Would be a, a good way, you know, to, to have Eminem's go out with the bang for this year. 
especially for Kyle Busch. But um, the paint scheme is a lot more different than last year's. They basically just took all the M&Ms and they arranged them in colors. Um, you know, uh, basically, I think the red M&M uh, on last year is where the blue M&M was, and then the blue. So basically, the green M&M stayed where it's at, and then the red and the blue kind of switched out. And I think there was chocolate on the front from last year, but they got rid of that, which is you know you know pretty heartbreaking for a chocolate lover myself. Um, I do like M&Ms as well though, and Snickers, but of course they have to sponsor you know my least favorite driver, Kyle Busch. But uh, man, hopefully this Nike SVU is get a uh, you know uh, one cool thing I like about the M&M's paint scheme. It really does want you to go out and buy some M&M's because it's bright and beautiful and colorful. And uh, ooh, now I'm thinking about cold M&M's. Oh lord. Alright, I'm probably going to have to go buy a bag of M&M's after this review, guys, because this diecast really, uh, <laughs> it's getting around dinner time, and I'm about to have dessert, so what a good time to have this car. And also, Halloween just came out as well. I know it's November, and I'm talking about Halloween, but it could be worse because we talk about Christmas. <laughs> I'm getting really off topic, but I love having fun on these diecast reviews, guys, um, just like I do when I hang out with Racing 2011. But, uh... What more do I say about this diecast, guys? I think it is a diecast that I would recommend getting. The Toyota casting on this car looks fantastic, besides that Toyota logo. And uh, we do get some little uh, chips as well. And no name banners as well, so that's something you are sacrificing for this year on like last year's car. And of course, no uh, Monster Energy logo as well, because they can't have that, even though we have seen it on a Kyle Busch car before. But... Still a really cool looking diecast, and um, you know I'm proud to say that you know he ran this die that he ran that yeah he ran this diecast that yeah that'd be impressive <laughs> he ran this car uh, for this year so really nice right there and um, you know feel free to check out Racing 2011's review of this diecast as well because I was in it as well along with the Matt Kenseth car so a um, little bit of a deja vu right there but um, hope you guys enjoyed this diecast review of Kyle Busch's 2017 M&M's Toyota Camry for Joe Gibbs Racing if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a good comment like it if you guys have not already I highly encourage you guys to subscribe to my channel for any more of the latest NASCAR Authentics diecast reviews and many more NASCAR Authentics diecast reviews to come but until then guys this is a Ridge Rip Bry I'm going to sign off for now and I will catch you guys in the next episode of the NASCAR Authentics Diecast Reviewing Series.